Sunday. On today's show, we'll get our Zumba on for a local event to raise breast cancer awareness. Plus, we're learning to make mummy cupcakes for Halloween with Cakes for a Cause. And the Adams families in the house will preview a performance by a local youth group. I'm Maria Parmigiani. And I'm Tina Jennings. Monday on the Morning Blend starts right now. It's a great Good morning on our Monday. Yes. October 6th. I know. Already uh, well into October. A, a week in there almost. Yeah. yeah. So um, it's Monday. So there we had a, I don't know, I felt like the weekend was really long. Really? Like, like I got a lot of stuff done. Not long like I couldn't wait for Monday to get here. <laughs> you I'm were always like tired Monday. on Monday morning. No. But um, did you do anything fun over the weekend? Well, yes. We, we talked about that kind of on mm -hmm. Friday. Um, I was out for the uh, Women's Expo over at La Encantada. Yes. And that was a lot of fun. I got to see a ton of dogs out there. Yeah, there's like a dog fashion show, right? Yes. <laughs> well, of course, our Ken Carr, he had his dog Lucky out there, who's a rough re Get it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so it was, you know, a lot of fun, and I got to meet a lot of people uh, for my kind of first official weekend out doing stuff. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. And you had your dad in town. Yes. And we went to the top of Mount Lemon yeah. for two people who are petrified of heights. <laughs> that was a white knuckle experience, but we both like high fived each other when yeah. we got to the top. We're like, yeah, we did it. Yeah. And, and you we said it was October beautiful. Fest. Oh, it was gorgeous. Yeah. And then once you start to get up there, there's no longer like that cliff where you feel like you're yeah. going to plummet to your death. Uh, <laughs> that might be your problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that you had a great weekend with your dad being yes. in town. Of course, I was out. And at the um, expo, they had a lot of things, of course, still being Breast Cancer mm -hmm. Awareness Month. So they had a lot of booths and information out there, which I thought was great also. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So that kind of uh, plays right into our photo of the day. Absolutely. We have a great show for you today. But first, let's take a moment to look at the photo of the day. Actually, this is yes. viewer Lee sent this photo of her daughter uh, Celeste and 10 year old rescue doggy Kiki and of course Kane Gun 9 Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen at the Women's Spa and Wellness Expo this weekend. Make sure you go to our website, TucsonMorningBlend.com. Enter for our photo of the day. Just go to TucsonMorningBlend.com. Click on the contest page. Be sure to explain what's happening in the photo too. As we make our way through Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we're discovering different ways to reduce your chances of developing the disease. And there's a new way to determine if you're at risk, and it's easier and more affordable than ever. Check it out. One of every eight women in this country will develop breast cancer, but only 10 to 15 percent of those cases will involve a family history of the disease. Now there's a new and affordable test for the 85 percent with no family history. It's called Brevagen Plus. Using cells from a simple cheek swab, Brevagen Plus looks for patterns in a woman's genetic code. These so-called SNPs are associated with a risk of sporadic breast cancer, the most common kind. Offering a test like Brevagen Plus is one of the most wonderful things that we have going for us right now because it allows us to identify a whole group of women that we didn't know had risk factors before. We can help to prevent more than 50% of those cancers by giving medications, which are commonly available and very easily taken. We can talk about lifestyle adjustment and certain factors that a patient has control over in her life, such as her diet and her exercise. And we can also use different types of imaging and more frequent examinations. Brevagen Plus also considers clinical risk based on the patient's age, when she got her first period, when she had her first child whether she's had breast biopsies or a family incidence of breast cancer. Brevagen Plus is a very affordable test for most women. Most insurance carriers will cover this. For those who don't, the most it costs a patient is a few hundred dollars. The test is appropriate for most women over the age of 35, and that would apply to Caucasian women, African American, and Hispanic women, women who have some degree of risk factor, or maybe even none. With information provided by Brevagen Plus, women can work with their doctors to better manage their risk of developing sporadic breast cancer through a personalized breast cancer risk reduction and screening plan. For more information, visit BrevagenPlus.com. Again, you can go to that website if you want more information. And actually, later on, coming up on the Morning Blend, we're going to Zumba for a uh, breast cancer cause as well. Yeah.